Zoran OS 15 this is their website from which we're going to download Zoran OS 15 the core edition the free edition we're going to burn that to a USB stick and then we're going to install it onto this computer which is Windows 10 so let's begin so ZoranOS.com is where you want to head over to and we simply click download if we scroll down a little bit is the core edition free download skip the download or you can sign up for the newsletter and you're done I've already done it I've already downloaded it so that's all you need to worry about there we're also going over here to etcher you can see it's detecting it's detected we're on a Windows 64-bit machine so same deal click on the download there download it and then just double click the file to run it which I have already done and I have got etcher running here going to select the image and there it is there Zorin OS 15 core 64-bit and notice it has R1 on the end of it this is I presume revision 1 so we'll open that select target going to plug in my USB stick which we've now done and we can see USB drive E has turned up now this is quite important you can see it's also detected it here as being USB drive E the important part is it's going to wipe out whatever's on the destination in this case it'll be my USB stick if for some reason this detects another drive in your computer or, or another USB device that's plugged in and it's the wrong one you can say bye bye to all your data on that so I recommend you open your file manager and make sure that there's no other drives whatever plugged into the machine just so that you don't go through the heartache of losing everything so in this case we, we know it's drive E you see it's empty so we're pretty good to go and now we just simply hit flash we say yes to the question and we can see it's starting that'll take It'll take a couple of minutes. Uh, it's saying about eight eight minutes there. This is only USB two. Uh, if you've got USB three, it'll obviously be a lot faster. But we'll let that go. We'll come back when that's done, and we'll pick it up from there. When it's done flashing, it'll do a validation process, which will take several more minutes. So we'll come back when we get to the finish of that. And here we are, just about finished validating. As we can see, everything's finished as far as setting up our USB stick. The only thing we need to do now is restart the computer. Press whichever key is uh, applicable for your computer, maybe Escape or F12, to enter the boot menu. Select the USB stick to boot off, and that'll take you to the Zorin desktop from where we can begin installing Zorin onto the machine. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to install it alongside this edition of Windows 10 here, and this is the disk management utility, which I got to by right clicking the menu button and just get simply going to disk management. And here we can see that I've got about 200 gigabytes of drive and it's currently 79% free so I've got plenty of free space in there uh, we could petition it now manually but it's certainly a lot easier to just do it from the installer of course you want to back up all your files and so forth uh, before installing Zorin onto the machine just in case something goes wrong which is good policy anyway so we'll pick up once we get uh, Zorin up and running, once we start booting. So I'm going to restart the computer and we will uh, see you when we get there. 
Here we are booting off the USB stick and we're going to take the default option. Uh, you'll notice on yours you'll have a counter counting away down the bottom there but I've stopped mine just simply for the video purposes here. So you can let it run or you can stop it and have a look at the menus. If you have Nvidia drivers you could use that. Uh, I'm just going to take the defaults here. So we'll press enter on that. We could install from here, but I'm going to go try Zoran OS, and I probably recommend that you do that just to make sure that it all works, that your video and your sound and so forth works on your computer. And once you've established all that and you're ready to go, here we are at the desktop. So we just simply click the install Zoran OS 15. And we start our way through the installer. So English is good for me, so I'll continue. And English US is good also. You can test your keyboard here if you want to. I'm going to continue. And we're going to install the updates and third party graphics and so forth. I recommend both of those. I'll hit continue. As you can see, we've been detected that we've got Windows 10 on this computer and it's defaulted to the option of install Zoran OS alongside Windows 10. You could erase the disk and install just Zoran if you don't want Windows on your computer anymore. But we're taking the top option here, so we'll continue. And you can see it's given us a choice. You'll remember from the earlier in the video, we had about 200 gigabytes. So here we've got 127 and 80 odd gigabytes here that it's it's recommending we can put the mouse between and we can move if we want to go about half and half or we want more for Zoran or more for Windows but we'll just we'll just leave it about there somewhere and we'll click install now so this is where we get to the point of no return Hopefully you've done enough testing, you're satisfied, you've backed up all your files, you've got everything in order, you've got your paperwork in order that you need to. And we're going to hit continue. And this is just warning us that it's going to overwrite and make changes to the disk. So we're going to hit continue again. And Melbourne is approximately where I am, so we'll hit continue. You can actually click on the map or you can type the name down here where it says Melbourne. We'll give it a name or ourselves a name rather and we'll just call it Z15. Uh, you can see it's defaulted the username in lowercase and we'll select a password and we'll type the password a second time. And I recommend requiring the password to log in. So I'm going to hit continue. And there we go, that'll run for probably five or eight minutes. We'll pick this back up again at the end and I'll show you the results. The installation is now complete. There's not much more to do here. No changes will be saved and whatever. You'll see that in the message up here. Uh, so the best thing to do is simply restart. Remove the USB stick from the computer and press enter. Now this should boot back into Zyron by default. I'm just going to hit the down arrow here. You can see that line across the top is the timer so if I hit the down arrow that just stops the timer you can see we've got Zyron at the top and we have Windows at the bottom we'll boot into Zyron by selecting it and pressing enter at the login screen you can click on your name 
we can press enter put in your password and here we are in Zoran just go to the disks menu this is the disks utility in Zoran OS and we can see here this is our Windows partition it says the NTFS and this is Zoran over here 91 and 123 about what we expected so we'll simply do a restart and we'll reboot into Windows then we'll just scroll with the up and down keys down to Windows we'll press enter and see Windows is starting up We're up to the Windows login screen so we'll log in here as well and if I right click the menu button go to disk management and here we can see our C drives now about 115 gigabytes and this is our Linux installation over here so there you have it that's Zorin OS 15 installed alongside Windows 10 as a dual boot machine. Hope you enjoyed it.